Streaming live, this is News Nation Now. Good Wednesday morning to you. I'm Bob Yoler. It is April 21st, and here's what you need to know as you get your day going on this Wednesday. Guilty on all counts. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, now a convicted murderer, after kneeling on George Floyd's neck for nine minutes last May. Protesters overnight celebrating the jury's verdict. Chauvin now awaits sentencing that could come in late June. And President Biden, Vice President Harris were among many elected officials that reacted to the Chauvin verdict. They called the Floyd family and their lawyers just after the guilty verdicts were read aloud in court. Texas Senator Ted Cruz actually criticized the president earlier in the day for saying that he hoped the jury reached, quote, the right decision. Some say that could be grounds for an appeal or a mistrial if the jury heard that comment and it tainted their decision. And we're following, or we're following developments this morning in Columbus, Ohio. Protesters marching through the streets of downtown last night after a teenage girl named Micaiah Bryant was fatally shot by police officers on the city's southeast side. They released a short clip of the shooting that appeared to show the girl swinging a knife at someone before police shot her. You can read more about this story on our website and our app right now. And the Associated Press reports that the president will pledge to cut U.S. carbon emissions in half by 2030. Biden is holding a virtual climate summit this week, and Republicans have said that goals like that will force too many businesses into extinction. But Democrats argue urgent action is needed to reverse the effects of climate change. The European Union is pledging to cut their carbon to be neutral by 2050. China's leader Xi Jinping will be one of the many leaders at that virtual summit. It starts tomorrow. And finally, this morning, if you're looking for a new place to live, I've got an idea for you that's a little out of this world. Check out this home in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The owner has spent 21 years filling it up with spaceship stuff. He says he's always thought of himself as being from a different part of the universe, and well, you can definitely say his house belongs there. 1,400 square feet, two beds, two baths, and $265,000 for that very unique home. That'll do it for us this morning. Stay with us online and on our app as we bring you the latest headlines throughout the day. And we hope to see you for News Nation Early Edition tonight at 6 Eastern. Have a great day.